Hey everyone, it's Todd from Gilla Games and we are here talking about Rising Star 2. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, songwriting and other strategies related to your songs in the game. Now songwriting doesn't, you know, as with everything in this game, doesn't require actual real life musical talent. So uh, let me show you how that's done. So first of all, you, you go to your jam room and you get these options down here and one is write a song. But before we go into there, uh, if you point at your characters over here, you see a tooltip that shows happiness, health, and inspiration. Um, so Patty has 10 inspiration. Monster is 15, Rodney is 21, and Preston is 15. So what happens when you when you go to write a song, see here, five new ideas added to the pool. Now if you look at these, Patty has zero, Monster has five. So what it does is it exchanges their inspiration for ideas, for song part ideas. And these ideas, this is your idea pool right here. And I've already, I already have some in here because this is a game that I've been playing a little bit already and I already if you look at the song list I already have several songs in here um, <clears throat> so there's there's a few elements here to a song first of course you have to give it a title um, so come up with a cool title like uh, I don't know let's see here a shogun named uh, Bob and then you specify what energy level the song is now this comes into play when you're doing your set list for gigs because you need to balance the amount of energy in your set to keep the audience engaged and happy um, because if you have nothing but high energy songs they'll run out of energy and then they won't be as entertained if you have too much uh, too many slow songs um, They'll never get entertained because they won't they want they have energy that they want to use um, so it defaults to high because um, In the beginning of the game you really need a lot of high energy songs to get your audience fired up so and then is a little four-piece puzzle here and There's um, you can see four different types of pieces the red ones are riffs blue ones are rhythms Green is melody and purple are lyrics. Now all you do is you just, the, the numbers here are the scores um, for how good the idea is. And these are kind of randomly generated but it's based on your character's songwriting skill. You can see Monster has a really high songwriting skill. This is really low and this one's not bad either. And this one's not great. So Monster and Preston are going to have the best ideas and you can see that in here the high numbers are uh, Monster and Preston. So what you want to do is try to put together a four piece puzzle with the highest um, total number of uh, you know, scores as possible. So let's, usually I like to just start with the biggest one and see where I can go from there. Let's say that it is a 14. so. Click that, puts it in there. Now, it dims out all the ones that are no longer valid because you have to fit the ones with the same shaped puzzle piece. And so only the ones with, like the, the blue ones with the little triangular part are still highlighted and the rest of them are dimmed out because they don't fit here with this. If you try to put it in there, it, it tells you it's not compatible with the existing idea. So, it kind of limits you. Um, Let's see this this one's still good so I'll do that and now what do we have up here see now I can't use this 10 pointer because it's not compatible with this 13 pointer um, but that's that's okay this this one's not bad right here and then this leaves us with only two options for the rhythm and they're both the same score so you can decide who you want to uh, contribute to the songwriting because that it also does contribute to the uh, musician's happiness. Uh, the more they contribute to the songwriting, the happier they are, especially if they have an high, a high ego. Low ego 
characters um, don't make a big difference. This is relatively low. Uh, Rodney's is a little high and Preston's is pretty low too. So Rodney is a pretty high ego but he has a low songwriting so by not being included in the songwriting it's going to affect his happiness quite a bit. You can see it's already kind of low here. But he does have high business skill and um, so getting gigs and a few other business related activities will increase his happiness. But that's a whole different topic. Okay, so now I'll just pick one of these. Patty, happiness for your own main character isn't really affected by anything. Um, so I'm just gonna let Monster contribute here. It's it's all Monster. Or let me just actually I will do Patty because if Monster ever leaves the band, then this song becomes a huge hit for some reason and has a lot of sales. It also affects uh, how much royalties each of the songwriters gets from that. So if, if Monster leaves the band, he's gonna get a lot of the money from the record sales. Okay, so the total song quality here is 36. Now this is the initial song quality. All you do is click uh, finish writing song here. And all the writers get some experience. And it's, the song has been added to the song list. So now if you click over here, you can see a new song starts out with a one playing skill because it hasn't been practiced. So the next thing you need to do is practice that song. And as you practice the song, the quality may go up a little bit. Um, so let's, uh, but before we do that, let's, let's just write another song. And oh, and every time you write a song, a day goes by. So let's see here, I'll start with that one. Um, try this, oh that's pretty good. Um, we need a green one, okay there we go. Not as good as the last one, but let's, let's make it medium level, energy level, and call it, um, call it goodbye friends. All right, I'll finish writing that song. Okay, and all the songwriters got some experience. And since it's Sunday now, the game is auto-saved as it's set up there. So now, you have to practice. Go to practice. Now, the songs that you have recently written are automatically selected for practice. Now, I've, I've been practicing all of these songs for a while, so they're already full 100% play skills. So, I only want to practice these two. Now, the more songs you have selected for practice, each day, they go up less. So if you have, uh, le the less songs you have selected, the more the play skill goes up each day that you practice because you're focusing more on those songs. You know, um, it spreads out across all of the songs that you're practicing. So I have those two selected. Click start practice. How many days do I want to practice? So I'm looking at my calendar here. I don't have any gigs coming up until the next week, so I could practice quite a few days, but I like to just do a few days at a time, just in case something comes up. Okay, get some experience for practicing, the play skills went up. No special events, so I'll just practice a couple more days now. Friday I might want to go out and watch a show to get some more inspiration. Watching shows is one of the best ways to get inspiration. So let's practice two more days. Okay, and now it's right. No, so now you notice uh, some of the play skills of these songs actually went down a little bit. What happens is if you don't practice a song or play it during a gig, after a couple of weeks, the play skill the play skill starts to go down. Um, so you have to keep uh, up on the practice of all of your songs. You know, it goes down slowly at first, and then if you as more time goes by, if you don't play it uh, or practice it, it starts to go down even faster. And that's fine, you know, later in the game when you uh, have a lot of new songs that are better quality and you're not really playing the old songs anymore, it's okay that they, the play skill goes away. As a matter of fact, if you go to your song list and you find a song that, let's sort by quality here, let's say, um, What's Left is one of the earliest songs that I wrote. It's the low quality. I never played it at a show. So click in here and you can archive it. 
or you can completely forget the song. If you've never recorded it, you can forget it and it'll just be gone forever. Um, but if you, especially if you've recorded it or if you just don't want to forget it, you can archive it here and then it doesn't show up on the list anymore unless you turn on view archive and it only shows you the archived ones, which then of course you can go in and turn off archive if you want to see it in the list again. So let me jump over to um, doing a gig and show you how the uh, strategy works with that. Okay, I reloaded the game so that uh, those songs that I just showed you that I wrote, um, they're not in my list anymore, but I have a gig sh uh, scheduled for my on my calendar today and I'm driving over there whenever you load a save game it tells you uh, you know you get a reminder that there is a gig on that day okay hurry the bar Have a good gig. Okay, go to the stage door, click play your gig. Now, if you've already played a gig, it'll remember the last set list that you had because you might want to leave it the same. Um, but I think we're going to change a few things. You can sort by uh, quality, play skill, popularity, whatever. None of my songs are popular yet. And uh, this is a battle of the bands. You can see the info about the gig down here. There's four different bands. And these are the popularity levels of those bands. So it looks like a pretty even match today. A capacity of 60 people in this venue. Um, I haven't been getting more than, I don't know, 30 so 30 something people in these. Uh, now, I definitely need this um, slow song, but I think I need this um, medium song also because I've been running into, by the end of the gig, the last song, the, the audience doesn't have an, enough energy, you know, as much energy as they want remaining in order to fully enjoy that song because Monster Explosion, it's 67 quality, that's pretty high. So is uh, high on dope beats. Uh, so let's let's turn off the lowest quality songs. I'm gonna turn on high on dope beats. Let's start out strong with that one. Move it to the top, and then let's see here. Amazing start. Actually, that's a good name. We'll start with that one, and we'll put so we'll put the the highest quality songs first and last. Amazing start and then end with high and dope beats. So then I want my second song to also be uh, very high energy because they start with 100% energy every time. So let's hit them hard with two high energy songs. One of them is a high quality then kind of a lower quality one. And then we'll slow it down to let them regain some of that energy. Then we'll hit them with another fast song, which is gonna use some energy, and then a medium song, which I'll stick right in there. So they'll regain a little bit of energy, which hopefully will be plenty of energy for the last song to close out the set. And it, um, Battle of, usually down here it says how many songs you have to play, but with the Battle of the Bands it's always only six songs. So there's six songs. If you try to add one more, it tells you you can only do six. So you have to turn one off before you can turn one on. Okay, also these indicate that um, these songs are actually on a CD that I recorded. And I bought some of those so that I could give them away at the gigs and giving away t-shirts and CDs or selling them. But you, you give away more, you distribute more t-shirts and CDs if you actually lower the price or make them free. And what that does is in the long term you get more fans that come and see you at uh, future shows and it helps 
get your popularity up a little bit faster, even, you know, at the expense of money. Okay, let's start the gig. Okay, then you pretty much just sit back and watch the energy response here. You see the interest level go up as each song is played, the line goes through it, and so you can see which song is affecting the interest level and the energy level. So we're, we're playing the slow song right now, regaining some of the energy that was used by the first two songs. Do another fast song using up a lot of energy. And then do a medium song. There's only 10 people in the audience. Um, so this worries me a little bit. I don't have as much energy left as I wanted to at the end for that last song. So it's all used up 56% final audience interest level and the scores. Well, we didn't win. <clears throat> um, having a different set list uh, could affect your score uh, because your score is affected by, uh, you know, the your stage presence, um, how good the songs are, your play skill of the songs. So if you're if, if you play songs in your set that you haven't practiced up, the audience is not going to like it at all. Uh, but also, um, how much audience satisfaction you end up with at the end of the game. Wow, thunder! So you want to use up that satisfaction. Oh. So you want to use up that energy as much as possible by the end, and get that satisfaction up because any unused energy in the audience is really just unused potential for satisfaction because they want to use up that energy um, that, that makes them happy. But if they don't have enough energy and you play a fast song, a high energy song, then their satisfaction will go down because they're just, they need to take a rest. And that's where the slow song and medium songs come in. Let's take a look at the set list analysis. See, they, they really liked those first five songs and then they just didn't have enough energy left by the end for this last song. Um, they had some energy. It says no energy, but um, not as much as they would like. This is a really high energy song and they really want to enjoy that song a lot with a lot of energy and they didn't have it left, so they didn't enjoy it. All right, so there's a overview of strategies for songwriting and for set list design when you're playing gigs. Um, so they kind of tie in together because you need to make sure that you write songs that have a, a variety of energy levels so that you can control the flow of the, the audience um, entertainment levels uh, during the gigs. So there's a lot of factors that go into it and I hope you enjoy messing around with it when you get to play this game. The Steam Game Festival is June 9th through 14th and there will be a, a playable demo of Rising Star 2 during that time. In the meantime, um, hit subscribe and like this video if you want to see more of these videos. And um, also on Steam, add Rising Star 2 to your wish list. That will really help a lot. Appreciate it. I will talk to you next time.